35 years of Super Mario Brothers is coming to us, and it came to us so fast. We literally blinked, and here we are with Super Mario Odyssey. Here we are with uh, Super Mario Brothers, uh, New Super Mario Brothers Deluxe, all these different uh, ports, and here we are with Super Mario 3D All Stars. The freaking rally cry of gamers all around the world was heard, and we were able to experience this joy and this this magnitude rise up from the depths of our of our childhood to signal yes. We finally got Super Mario 64 on the Switch. We finally got Super Mario Sunshine on the Switch. We finally got Super Mario Galaxy. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really love Super Mario Galaxy. 1 and 2 are both fantastic games in their own right. In fact, I have them here on display because I want to show them some love. But in my opinion, they're not 3D Mario games. Now hear me out. Nintendo themselves admitted and even showed a timeline just before the release of Super Mario Odyssey describing two types of Mario games. They talked about 3D platforming Mario games, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and then they put Super Mario Odyssey in that same category. Now I'm only going I'm only I'm only saying this because this is what Nintendo said. And then they put Super Mario uh Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy 2, Super Mario 3D Land, Super Mario 3D World, they put those in the same category of being a 3D platformer. It wasn't a sandbox game like Super Mario 64 was, Super Mario Galaxy and um, Super Mario um, Sunshine and Super Mario um, uh, Odyssey were planned to be. I can see why they did it though because that was the next progression in the mainline home console game and that's okay I'm not complaining because those are fantastic games in their own right. Um, I'm just saying it's it's, it's, it's kind of weird when when I saw Galaxy announced as one of the titles in the 3D All-Stars game but that's beside the point. The point is that we're finally getting Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine on the freaking Switch. And it's going to be really cool to play with the with the Joy-Cons um, Super Mario Galaxy, which I assume is going to be the way to play it. Mario is a plumber. And that speaks to the simplicity and the accessibility of the Mario games. He's just this plumber who who's an average looking, very plain looking character character design wise and yet you look at his red and blue and mustache and his red cap and you instantly know mario why because of the accessibility and the ability to have his games so readily available for the mass audience and that's not to say that the games are watered down for them because a lot of mario games do have a lot of depth and a lot of uh complexity uh, to them. Just look at the speedrunning community when it comes to Super Mario 64, Super Mario uh, 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 Sunshine, and the fact that they find these game breaking, you know, techniques and take the game to the next level. The fact that this seemingly innocuous plumber travels galaxies, goes to space, he goes on vacation and gets himself into weird mix-ups and, and has his vacations go wrong and then teleports to like other dimensions and then he goes into a castle that's been seemingly abandoned and jumps into paintings like these are adventures and these are awesome you know memories that we take to us that we take with us into our adult years and there's only some games that will forever stay with us so, uh, a very few, uh, and maybe I'm in the minority with with, in, with this opinion, but there's only a select games that I feel that I'm taking into my adult years that I've recently played that will stick with me and that I genuinely have enjoyed and brought, which brought me back to a simpler time in my childhood. For example, Shovel Knight is such an amazing, fantastic game that I could literally go back to at any time, play it and enjoy it just as much as I did the first time I played. And that says a lot about a game. And I feel that a lot with Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine. Not so much with Odyssey. Now, don't get me wrong, Super Mario Odyssey is a fantastic game and it's such a great uh, homage to what Mario was throughout the years. And it shows in its level of detail how much the developers and how much Nintendo really cares about this character. But when I finished Super Mario Odyssey, I didn't feel like it was one of those games I could really go back to. Um, I went back to complete and collect the rest of the moons and you know do the really cool little updates that they did with you know the hiding the balloons with Luigi and the different races that they added and the the, the leaderboards really cool and gave it gave Super Mario Odyssey definitely a, a, a increase in its lifespan but 
Super Mario Odyssey, I feel, is not a game that I could go back to and enjoy just as much as I did the first time. And I feel Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Galaxy, only some games in, in my, my adult years that I can actually go back to and play and enjoy as much as I did as I did when I was a child. Now, my first experiences with Super Mario uh, go back to, you know, Game Boy Color, NES era, when I, I got my Game Boy Color and my first Mario game was Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. And I remember loving that game so much, taking it on trips to, to camping trips, um, going taking that, that game to, to, you know, different uh, family get-togethers and just playing that game so much. And I remember I loaned it to a schoolmate and I never got it back. Antonio. I remember, I never got my Super Mario Bros. Deluxe back, but whatever. I, I, I went back, you know, as I got older and I played games like the Super Mario Land games, which hold up today so well. Super Mario Land is a very simple, you know, very much in the vein of the original Super Mario Brothers. but then Super Mario Land 2 came out and I was like, oh my gosh, this is Super Mario World on the go. I love Super Mario Land 2. It's one of my favorite Super Mario Brothers games. And, you know, this just goes to show how much Mario has permeated the lives of many gamers, including myself. I'm also really excited for Super Mario 3D World. I love that game so much. I did a video on on, on Super Mario 3D World. It, it wasn't a specific video that I had done on it, but it was, you know, I, I mentioned it. I mentioned it a lot in, in, in my earlier videos because it was a game that I really enjoyed in the Wii U. Um, I, for first mention of it was in my uh, winter level games memorable winter levels or something when i talked about um the uh the snow snow world in super mario 3d land um the music is really cool and then we also have the super mario game and watch which looks so freaking cool i'm so excited to get that you know as soon as pre-orders go up i'm getting my hands on one of them it's got a clock it's gonna let you play super mario brothers um hopefully the full game um which i assume i hope I hope that would be so cool to be able to play Super Mario Brothers, the entirety of the Super Mario Brothers on a game and watch and take that on the go. I'm going to carry that with me wherever I go. It just looks so cool. And you know me, I love handhelds and you know me, I just love things that I can fit in my palm, a palm of my hand to be able to play and take on the go. So going back to what I was saying at the beginning, how Mario is just a very plain character, yet he's able to go and travel through these fantastic realms, speaks to the accessibility and the funness of a game which bridges the gap between generations which Mario has done for a lot of gamers and has done for the gaming industry as a whole and I'm just really excited to to live on this timeline where I get to play Super Mario Sunshine on the go I did a whole video on that game and and, and my love-hate relationship with it I love that game I love the weirdness that you can find in the different uh, uh, secret levels and and just the music and the the tropical setting and I love everything about that game and I love the blue coins even though they're so tedious and monotonous and very unnecessary and I hated doing them and I'm really excited to be able to play this game on the go so what do you guys think about Super Mario's 35th anniversary what games did you grow up with what was your favorite Super Mario Brothers game let me know in the comments and I hope that we can look for the 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 50th anniversary of Mario and 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 see Mario continue on into the future in these different fantastic realms and adventures that we are able to be a part of and, and go along with. And I only see uh, a bright spot in the future of Mario games and Mario and Nintendo as a whole. So until next time, see you guys later.